Hello and welcome to Slay the Princess. So if you don't know what this game is, it's horror. But every time you play this, you get another experience. Not like, like anything else. Okay, so let's start. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. Okay, let's turn everything lower a bit so you guys can hear me. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Let's see. I actually know just one. One of those I managed to memorize because I know it gives a different ending. So let's do that. Seriously? We're gonna turn going around. To turn around and leave do you even know where you're going yep i do let's see i'm not going to the princess i'm going over huh. i suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin good what we're being asked to do here is wrong better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it of course of ignore course. that annoying little voice he doesn't know what he's talking about yeah, he knows. He's the hero of that. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Maybe I don't want to save the world. You're really turn around keen again. on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. No, why should I believe you? Killing is such a gauche phrasing and completely ignores the bigger picture. Your task is to slay the princess because she's terrible and she's really got it coming to her. What do you mean? Stop that. I'm not gonna Fine. slay the princess. Turn around and trek back down the path you came. Of course. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. I don't care. Oh yeah, well, I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's seems always fair. a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. How do you know that? And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. Things happening. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. Now we have many cabins. Okay. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Not going to Wait, happen. What's going on? You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. That seems fair. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just fair. how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. That, that was unexpected. A stranger. Let's see. I think this is the correct path way. In the woods. And at the end yeah. of that path, okay, you're here that. to slay her. What's with the glass? Okay, no. <laughs> Okay, th yeah, that seems nice. Let's save. Do a save here and see. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. 
The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Uh, probably it should stop me from... I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's Ooh, like we got the contrarian. The entire See. world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. Why is the age captain? If by age. ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. I don't think so. The world hasn't ended yet. You are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. That ain't gonna happen. Today I'm not slaying the princess. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. Lie. Yep, okay, heading to the cabin now. Where I'm definitely going to slay that princess. Hey, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. Silently proceed to the cabin. It's a lie. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. See what happens now. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. And why should I if believe we're stuck you? going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. You mean, for all we know, the narrator might be a liar, so... Ignore him. See. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Sit into the cabin. Let's see. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there. Such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. This is strange. Look at how the place moves. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm not gonna if take the blade. To take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust, or better yet, Grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? He has a point. He has a point. I'm not gonna take it. No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. Yeah, we do. Probably. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? I don't know bro, last time we didn't go kill her, this happened, so... You can't just say that! And when everything here is so wrong... Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? That's strange. Let's see. Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler to what's going to happen. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. Probably. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. He's not fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. Let's see. Didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Approach the mirror, take the blade, 
enter the basement. We're gonna enter the basement. As I said, we're not seeing the princess today. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases, all built from unidentifiable materials. I think I'm doing this right. Let's see. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. I mean... What are our choices? We go back or we go... On one of these, so... Let's see. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. A kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Well, that's not a reason to slay someone. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to piano? No. First, why does she sound like a, a demon and said, can, why did kill, why did she, did she say kill in like three voices at once? No, no thank you. <laughs> I like this guy, yeah. He, he does not want anything to do with this. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong, this feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. Probably. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll oh. still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. Ain't no way. That's the best response I didn't expect. See, we're going to take the harsh stairs to the left. You step to the left. The path is cruel against your feet, the impact of each step sending pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left in them to feel. The air around you grows cold the further you progress. At first a barely noticeable drop, quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice, your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapour. You shudder against it as you continue down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone-deep chill. Why do I continue down the stairway? What's you slowly happened? lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. That's bad. Physical sensations dull and then vanish until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Why didn't I just turn back? Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just going to stand there? What happened? What... What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. That was so weird. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess. Eyes bright, but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. Nice one. You're here to- he's just being an ass, we remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. I mean... First, she's not normal, she's locked in a basement in weird dimension. Second, there is a second chain on the wall. Why aren't both her hands tied? That's not normal. 
Sorry, I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down here was weird, like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? You're apparently a threat to the world I was sent here to slay you. That's a bad thing to say. Let's ask her her name. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. I mean, you're the one tied there. You should drop the attitude. You can call me princess if you'd like. What's happening? As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. We can do that? No, I don't think we can. I think only she can. I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? What do you mean put her back? Do you see? I don't think it's seeing what. You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? When did we say we had been here before? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? I guess so. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here and you need to do it now. No, I don't. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. I like this guy. Damn. He's so... He, he's the fun one. See, there's more of you now. Getting down here was weird. Like I was pulled apart, I think. For all I know... You're apparently a threat to the world. I'm getting you out of here trying to free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Different. Why are both of those? That's a bug. And what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? No. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. No, you're not. Stop jump skin. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I, which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. Can we even leave this place? I don't like thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those stairs. Well, that's where the blade is. If you want it, you'll have to go and get it. I'm not going. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. I don't know if I am. I think it's going to end up like that. Anyway, so let's see. Getting down here was weird. For all I know, the bug question. Okay, let's see this one. What? Like you need me to hold your hand and tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? She fractures again. We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out. And barely a way in. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. Okay. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. No, she's Why stopped. would I know what happened to you? For all I know, you're a pen near. But I'm getting. Let's see this one. Wait, that's not right. Go on. Take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands. Oh, that's creepy. Different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins. Your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. Okay, this is getting bad. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. What? That means... So, you find the blade suddenly in your hands. So, I have the blade in my hands. So, then I strike her bindings, her chain, as I remain upstairs... Okay, and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? 
What an unbearable mess. I know. Wait, why did my pointer become a knife? But yeah. this... We, we can't... Oh, bro, is... Okay. Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. I mean, bro has a point. Let's see what happens next. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... Before it all what? Falls apart? I guess so, I mean... I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? I don't think so. What, what happened, happened to, us? to us? What are what we? Are we? There, there are parts, parts of us that are dead, that are dead and, and, the others, others, and the others. They just, just don't, don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. That's weird. We can feel, feel them moving around, around in spaces, spaces they, they don't belong. belong. It's, all it's all so, so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. I mean, I would think so. She has six fingers. And. Two fingers join and look at her face. Did you do this? Did, did we do this? Can, can, you, pull can you pull us back apart? Back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? I don't think so. We should help her. I think we did this. I don't know who did this. How surprisingly wrong. sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. Damn. But I was realizing how life works. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Probably. Please, please, please. Why is the background nothing? Going to be okay, I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No, you just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. Say nothing. Let's say it's going to be okay. And uh, hands pull her. Of course, the hands get her. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear your reply. She's gone. Replaced with something else a mirror. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? I don't think so. Is that a... Why is it here? Why now? Well, I don't know where she went and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. He's been gone for a while. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Approach the mirror. I'm begging you. Don't do this. Ignore him. Only option. You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. No, it yeah, doesn't. Don't look at it. I don't like that thing. Why don't they like the mirror? Do they know something I don't? The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Damn, I'm so ugly. Yo, I'm a bird man. You're alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. You sit to the what cabin? There's the cabin. You are at the cabin. I'm not at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Who's she? What are you? Let's see. I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? And what does that mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I'm a part. I'm a person, of course. A person. A set of eyes witnessing from one perspective. I think that you are more like me than you are like a person. What do you mean? We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile vessel. This is the end of the world. Let her out of there. Don't know the narrator, are you? What sent me to slay the princess? Are you what happened? What trapped me here? Or do you... Oh. 
Okay. Let's see this one. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. These ones are a contradiction, a winding kaleidoscope of paths and wall. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey, but they will make for a rich and vibrant heart. What do you mean? Oh. Do not mourn them. For they will finally get to know themselves. Is the end of our uh, yeah. Oh. How can the world have ended if we are talking? Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. That's weird. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Okay. Let her out. I don't think she's what sent me to slay the princess. She seems more like the princess. Like the destroyer body. Okay, we're gonna save. No, 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 no not skip. No, save. Okay, we're gonna save here. And let's see. Raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space, your body should be. You feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be, but here. Okay, so that did nothing. Your, your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Okay, so let's ask... Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. Okay. But were you always the princess, or were you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? How can one speak in circles? Okay, let's see. Something else. Do we know? Do you know about the world's being? Even I, I know don't know only what I mean. That they are. Okay. Are you what sent me? I mean, let's just ask her. This. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. That seems fair. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Let her I'm out of sorry. There. there are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Okay. I promise that it doesn't hurt. I mean, I probably believe you. What happens? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. Oh? There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Okay. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Okay. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? This one seems interesting. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Okay. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. And what if I don't let you do this? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Let's see, how many more pieces of you do I have? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. Okay. And what if I don't let you do this? Too? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Well, I can wait, 
call it. Just kidding. Let's see you this one. ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Being semantic, what are you going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling and uneliminated. Not going back, wait, okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Probably will. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Now, for those of you who haven't seen episode one, first of all, you should go see it. Second, I will leave the first dialogues of the narrator just so you are aware of the story. And if you are quick enough to see, I had other saves that were earlier today. That is because I recorded for three quarters of an hour a black screen while playing. So I have to do that all over again. Yeah, press subscribe to pay your respects. Let's go further. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Trust you. End of the world, what are you talking about? Maybe. Blah blah blah, killing the princess is bad though, doesn't it? Let's do it. Let's just. There's no point in arguing. Silent Eagle Cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. I think this time I will try to rescue A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Why should I believe you? Proceed. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay, so? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's just enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. That's not a reason. Somebody first. Second... But I don't think she lives here by choice. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. That's foreshadowing. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. And why should I believe? I just checking in on you. I saved I'm here to save. Hey, I think I'm here to stay. You continue. Here to save. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Many, many times. I don't believe you. Yet. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I don't know, ask that narrator guy, he seems to know. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Damn, fortune. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been 
waiting for something like this to happen forever. Forever. For as long as you... I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Yeah, I did. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Hold on, let's talk a bit. Do I take it? Do I take it? You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Problem? You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. Probably. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere that. upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Of course they did, because you locked her down here. There isn't the key they have in. Tell us maybe. Yeah, I'm going to check out. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You better be here. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? So come, so come be. Lord, he let me out of here. There's no. Lord is you make shut. your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for the narrator. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Who is they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her what? teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. What do you mean? What's with face? Yeah, why bother asking? As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. So, so come. Or we could use it to free her. Bro has, has admin. You won't like what happens if you do that. <sighs> what is it? Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Maybe before cutting her out, we should have just tried pulling the chain. She started ripping through her flesh be before the knife fell. But maybe, maybe the hand could have still be saved. If she just... You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Yeah, curious how she makes absolute it still has the her limb falls to the ground and the heavy chains follow suit she didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal finally no not. she didn't she smiles softly as her gaze meets yours blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground how is she still smiling after everything it's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. I know. It's very, very strange. I have absolutely no explanation. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Approach the lock. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. Well, what do you mean we want? We. Okay, so bro is aware. The narrator. The narrator is aware that there are multiple versions. Just come. There's no. Let's see what happens. 
As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Yeah, he's taking a... Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. I... What are you doing? A thousand. One hundred. That's... No, I... I don't need saving. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Oh, uh, that's the thing. I'm not... Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess Look. dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Look at that dodge. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. I don't care. I'm not kidding. The blade. Move the blade. Ain't no way that's going to happen. What the hell? As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. Very cautious. We both know this isn't you. I mean, I know, I don't... She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I am stopping you from... I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Yeah. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. That is foreshadow. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. Who is every- I still don't know. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You're sorry, stop stabbing me. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? What can I... Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Damn, poor Trace of all. It can't just end like this, right? Yes, it can. Anyway. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. What's she doing? Why is she leaning on? Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2, The Damn. You're on a path. You're here. Getting up the bus. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Bro, stop lying to me. I already caught you red-handed. You said the we. So you definitely have a way of talking with the other. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. I see. Is the the simp is out? Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. What does he mean by the four of us? There is the player, which they are 
somehow aware of. The hero, the smitten. And who's the fourth one? He talking about the princess and how does he know? I mean, he probably talk. Okay, so we'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Damn. This narrator is so cold. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. More than just deja vu. Literally. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Okay. Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and this really did. Why would I listen? Father do. Those are two very different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. Not only the... If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. He is right. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. Yeah, but you're a monster with no morals. Why should we? I beg to differ. Imp. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Now you're just insulting me. appreciate that. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Not an assumption. Probably what? What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Why is time quoted first, second, time didn't rewind, otherwise I probably... If time really rewind, I would have forgot everything. That's how time rewinding works. It's not time track. It's time rewinding. So, probably the latter. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Yes, I died. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. So the smitten somehow knows that the narrator in things. I mean, that's... This part is just, uh, same talk, but... How does he know? Or does he just assume it? Convoluted. I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. The mango. Save her. That's right, you can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. I would prefer... Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <sighs> You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. What do you mean? Our... So let's talk about... A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will we cheat. already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I'd... I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. You have a point. He has a point. He definitely. I do. 
but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Agree to disagree. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. God damn, bro, so cold with it. Well, like he's another one of Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Yeah, save the princess. That's what the... Sit into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. What about that? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Anything about the blade? You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Oh, it's a mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. The mirror. But there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. This guy knows He just confessed to us being a man. Let's just enter the basement. Oh, blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Each version of aim more or less. I know. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. Bros delusional. Go on. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. The manipulation. For her. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. Even the net. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. She remembers. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing, and she called us a hero. A bit of flattery goes... Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? That's on the face. Waiting for you to come back? I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. You're using a really complicated... Makes words and I don't like that. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. That's more. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Well, that I cannot... Yes, I can. She could have just taken the blade while we resisted him, left... Oh, that... Don't know. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... 
What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? I don't know. Talking. Then we're gonna start now. We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. I will if you let me. Save the prince. Killed me last time. Rescue, Rescue her? What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. Don't you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her out with ease. What do you mean dainty? Her right arm, which is tied, is definitely thicker than her left, left arm. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Watch. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? No. Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature, or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? He has a... I think I'd rather believe in facts. Ah, so you're one of those empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bindings. Okay. Let's go. No. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You're what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Good luck. I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Brosnats. He, he has gone off the rails very much, and I take control back from him. Getting any control. He wouldn't. He would. I would. He definitely would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. It's completely... Is is merit for her, for her freedom, because I don't think her hand would have fit. Her, her hand definitely didn't. Jane. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Out the way. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? Let me guess. End the world? Good guess, good guess. Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. Yeah, bro, stop rambling. Yes, that. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Oh, ain't no way. Bro was wrong. Who would have guessed that? She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? What if? You're so gullible. 
Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I mean, I've doubted you. And you know more than you tell us. You're not the... I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Want you to. I just want to leave. We can figure that out that. Sounds I perfect. The princess takes your hand, the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. You probably don't. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. You will. You definitely. It's just that petty. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. I think she does. Finally free, who knows? And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Why not? Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. What do you mean supposed to? She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. He has a... Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. What voice of... Oh, he has absolute... Pardon. Think... Do you think... That I let's okay, yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. I was having none of this, it's every second, and the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the princess make your way upstairs and... The blade, that's right, there's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. I don't think so. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. I hate you. That goes both ways. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Then tell me. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin, and then you step outside. Why? Why is the screen starting to turn black? Ah, happy ending at last. Why is? We did it. What should we do now? The screen is darkening. Where did everything go? Yep. I wondered the same thing. Where did he go? Oh, he's finally gone. Could not be. Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I can't wait. You're always the only acceptable one i'm cold is being happy supposed to be so cold 
or creepy. She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Yep, Bron knows too much. He should get he should get nerfed. It's way too much. But the hands grab her of course. And it all goes down. Don't get the chance to make that jacket. Time for you to leave. Nerf. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? Probably. Can is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Probably because the grab behind. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Oh. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt, right? I think he knows. Just go and approach them. Approach them. Oh, I don't like that silence. All oh, the silence is getting. This is feeling more distant. Approach. Action. Silence is. Always. See what's in it. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. The seat of the I don't see. Okay, the shifting mount. You are at the cabin. Sure. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? Have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. She has a point. You like to change that. Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. For those of you that don't know what comes from contradictions, you should watch the last episode. Get that. Um, you'll get what this means. And the familiarities must be. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Forward. This is all done. Know what you want to do. With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Makes up. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. That's true, but I don't think you really. That's just any thoughts on. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you. And she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. I know it Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Good to know. How many vessels? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. There's a long way from a pond to an ocean. You will have your rest in due time. And I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Should. I'm ready to go. 
I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, this time I will trust you. And I will just continue to the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Okay, fair enough. Let's proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay, enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. Very, very oppressive. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. That is definitely a fair reason to Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Damn, it's already as if she knows I have the blade. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Yeah, she's very manipulative. Hi, just checking in. Hey, I think I'm here to keep you down. Good. You're still listening to reason. Apparently, you are reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall of the basement. Probably for a good reason. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? My guy, you have to lock in. Don't let her fool. Focus on the task at hand. Exactly. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? What? No way. Why would you think? Why would you even... Okay, yeah, you caught me. Ah, uh, I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Yeah. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? Confident much. Well, I'm not the one tied to a wall. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. She's bluffing. She's 100 So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Well, I don't care what you can do. Kill you. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Yeah, I will. Just let me choose all it. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Yeah, I did it. Finish the game. Oh. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, not so tough now. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. How are you still talking? Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Oh, that's bad. Her text turned brighter. It's like she's convinced she can't die. She's obviously delusional. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. 
That's some very... That is some very delusional stuff she's doing. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. Very arrogant. That. But is it over? Really over? Yeah, it's really, really over. Of course it is. She's dead. Not sure. I feel like she has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. What sleeve? She doesn't even have sleeve. I don't think. Of course not. That was too easy. Of course it is. She's yes, dead. Exactly. It's over. Somebody haunts the fans. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why is there nothing? Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? Because you just killed somebody. That somebody was evil incarnate. You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. He has a point. But that day isn't today. Let's just get out of here. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. Oh, so I actually killed the wall by killing. Great job trusting the man. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. Again, he probably has a point. Okay, let's see. That's bullshit. Get me out of here. Okay. I'm kind of hoping I get a better ending leaving the world. I think that's a fair This thing. isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. Yeah. So... Does that mean he basically associates the princess with death? Now that death is more? What does that mean? What does that mean? In order for something to be born, something else, die does the cycle of life in it. That uh, thing that no matter is created nor oh, I don't know, I think I messed that up, but you get the point. So the princess is basically death, and now what we get is eternity without death. Because we stayed hard. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Or is it the wonderful and happy at the same time? It doesn't matter. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Of course not. Well, didn't you hear the narrator? I'm here. Hell no. Do you have any idea how to get us the here? Of course we are. Oh, this seems like the only logic. I do. But you're probably not going to like it. Better than eternity nothing, bro. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on. And I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? It wants to take this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. That's because it's probably not that one. Do you not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. Guys, stop arguing, just give me the choice of it. Wouldn't using the blade be... You're right, I didn't just like... Yeah, I'm just... 
around it. Nothing else. Anything but... <sighs> Thank you. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You... you... ingrate? Hey, 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 you mini head. Now I'm definitely gonna do what you don't want. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. Wonder why? You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. I wouldn't say the same for The Spectre. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Okay, we've and hit, in the we've basement of that, that cabin, you're here. To... Oh, you bastard. Put in for it. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. No, this is what, like, the sixth time? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Probably. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Oh, this one's new. Old. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Get to the cab. Let's assume I don't see that. A warning. She will. That she won't happen. be a problem. It was very cold. Get into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odour of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. That's like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Or approach the or take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I mean, this chapter is called Spectre. Have to get ready. The door to the basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. There's always a valid reason. The room below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. As the cold said. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the what top of a head that? appears from underneath the floor. What? Jump scare. There's, there's gonna be a jump. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally, the rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? And why is the ghost still chained to, chained to the ghost? <laughs> nah, bro, is pissing him. Oh, wow! How absolutely terrifying! What's a ghost supposed to do to us? The amount of balls on the rage. Oh, it's you. 
Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. Well, I don't. I killed you and you'll be dead. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. Of course she's a ghost. So she has a body, and she's right there. That means we could kill her again, if we wanted to. Play the princess. Play the princess. Without a moment's hesitation, you lash out with your blade. But it does nothing. It's like you're slashing at air. No matter how many times you stab at her, no matter how many angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. But it didn't say you could touch me. As I said, there were, there were surely gonna be... Why are you even here? Just making sure you finish the job, or what? If I knew I'd have to talk to you again, I would. That's Cowell's way. I died too. Floating around. You are what happened when. Stop playing the book. Threaten me. Or say it. Well, yeah. I brought a knife with you. Was I supposed to just welcome you with open arms when you obviously had stabbing on the mind? Knife could have been ready. It could have, but it wasn't. You can't blame me for threatening a would-be knife-wielding murderer, especially when that would-be knife-wielding murderer became an actual knife-wielding murderer. Play the princess harder. Nah, let's go. You swing at the princess once more, and once more, your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. I slay her. Really? Her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs, looking you over with grim disappointment. She draws in close. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, Keller. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so we could get out of here, together. But now you're not. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. There is home. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. That's bad. What is this violence is the only language you speak? Hmm. Let's drop the face. She forces her hand into your chest, and then... Yes? Nothing happens. Are you sure about that? So something should have happened. And yet it didn't. We're fine. Did you mean not the face? Step away. Not yet, but let's see if you stay that way. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next, but it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. Crushing my A horrific splintering, the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I owed, starting with your body. If you won't choose to give me my freedom, I'll just have to make you give it to me. She's real now. If she's making us dead, we should return the favor. He has a point. Play the princess. You swing your blade towards her briefly corporeal throat. It connects. A gash widens across her neck, glowing ectoplasm leaking from the wound. But it's too little, too late. God damn, hand, she pulled my hair She clutches out. your still beating heart. It thumps unsettlingly. Yep. Did we get her? Even if we didn't, we've given her something to remember. See you soon, killer. I'm afraid you'll never know. 
as she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark, and you die. Bye bye, narrators. Next time. The Wraith. Damn, we're, we're over to chapter three. You're on a path in the wood, and here we go again. Off to slay her again. This looks very bad. The deck's stacked, isn't it? We kill her, we start again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost, we start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. Now this is a new one. Two voices and the voice of the cheater. Come on, let's not give in to all that misery just yet. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Yeah, kill her there, she's dead. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if all of this was rigged from the start? Of course it was, by the narrator. That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all this if it was just some kind of... cosmic busywork. I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. But wouldn't that get... I don't know. Boring? Who knows? Okay, so you've already been here. Twice, even. Great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Go ahead. Do your best. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I Except can't imagine you. any scenario where you would have started over after slaying Except the you. princess. Well, we didn't have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do that? Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. That doesn't sound like me. If I'd had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void. And then you told us we were happy. Well, were you happy? Of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. It was awful. Exactly. It was boring. Bro does not want to be here. He's bored now. Mine. It was bullshit. <laughs> That's not. So you killed yourself. Finally, you got the point. Uh, haven't we told him this like ten times already? Yes. And then she killed us. Even though she was already dead. This is all fake. Okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. Yep. Whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you give it one last try? Because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you almost managed to accomplish. Okay. All this standing around and talking is boring. Let's at least do something. Maybe we'll kill her again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll even free her. Roy is just along for the ride. He does not care what And why should we help you? All you're going to fuck us. Definitely. We've killed her and been by her. What happens if I want to see what You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. Really? The more he talks, the more I'm interested in setting her free. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. But I was giving us the cold shoulder now. I won't do it. sounds like somebody's about to crack. He's trying to do the the reverse psychology thing. I don't psychology with verses and stuff. Enter the Yeah, exactly what I said. There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single-minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. Ah, oh, bro, he's spitting straight bars, bro. Would you look at that? We won. 
Take it however you will. We want the psychological battles between our voices and the voice of enter the cabin. The interior of the cabin is long and dark, a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. He doesn't see them yet. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? So we've been here before. On. Great. Something else has been taken away from us. I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Close the mirror. Pretend... If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Makes the sense. way to the basement? Don't you mean door? No, I didn't say door. Because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. What are the odds she's waiting for us right behind it? If I were running a bullshit factory, it's what I'd do. As no. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you, and certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. Yeah, locked away in her ethereal form. He can't see the mirror. The knife is gone, defying his expectations. Who the hell is calling the shots here? Nobody is calling the shots. That's how reality works. Your reality, by you. You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. We've always been watched. You're watching us right now. Sometimes the feeling is just stronger than others. I feel like you're trying to put us on edge. We don't need all this anticipation. We just need this to be over. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Is. Here we go. You reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind just to mess with us. Of course. What you looking at, killer? Staring into the void? Thinking about what it'd be like to die again? I know exactly how you feel. Come here. Shit. Where is she? I wanna slay her again. She's... She's being way too long. You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Ah, she's your going heart to go skips thing. a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. She's doing the ghost thing. Your bones snap. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse. And you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage Damn. of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. That's no princess. But do you know how I feel? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. I thought maybe you'd seen what you've done and feel remorseful. Maybe try to make it up to me. But no, you'd rather use that knife to keep making the same mistake over and over and over. I'm just that stubborn. Even after I ripped your heart out, you still cut me. And for what? I didn't go anywhere. You didn't banish me. I'm right back here with you. A little better, a little worse. A lot worse. Well, maybe a lot worse. Look who's reading my... So... Here's how this is going to go. I'm going to take your body, and I'm going to walk it out of here. That thing ain't gonna happen, I'm gonna kill myself. And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. I say we let her do it. It's something different. Do I get a choice? Do we even have a choice? 
You always have a choice. Maybe before, but not now. There isn't a blade this time. Exactly. What choice is there if there isn't a blade? Hold your breath. Well, unless you have any specific ideas, I think my vote's the only one that counts. Look, we're even. Children. Water under the bridge. That's the cow's way out. We wanted to hurt you. Another cow's way out. A victim in all of this. Cow's way out. When possessing me, I guess my will make you. Me, you don't have. You believe me. You need to take my body. You can't just open the door for you. Fine, I actually. Struggle. You violently struggle against the princess, but all you manage to do is grind the fragments of your splintered ankle together. You can't shake free from her now. It's so easy to make you squirm. But I won't be crueler than I have to be. I don't even want to cause any more damage. It'll be hard enough for me to walk out of here on that broken ankle. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Look, there's the stab one. Yeah, that's your... Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? Well, that would be useless. It would fall right through her. Manifest a rock maybe on our head. She remains... And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Well, if I wanted to free the princess, I would have given her... Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yours, I assume. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. I think you messed up. Are you seriously trying to blame this on us? Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. Uh, those are some heavy ones. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. Of course I don't. So cramped in here, like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. There's another option, you know. Don't help either of them. Flip the table. No, it hasn't. That gap where the mirror was, I don't think it goes anywhere. Let's throw ourselves into the abyss. That seems like a very good idea. No. Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Leave the cabin, throw your body into the... Okay, we're gonna look at both of them. Now let's throw my body into the... In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends, and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. Enough is enough. I'm tired of us always losing. It's just a step away. At least you don't win. You throw everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment 
to overpower the princess's hold on your body. But that moment was all you needed. Your foot slips a few inches, and you collapse forward, the darkness swallowing you whole. Okay, we're gonna continue this. Just a moment, let's see what happens if I step out of the cab. You toss the last of your will aside and surrender to the princess. That's so not Shit. I guess that's that. An end is an end. Let's see what it has in store for us. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. That sounds excruciating. So, 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 so many souls. But despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting further away. No, you will not. Please, just let her out. No, no, no. Pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. No, no, screw that. The hallway gets even longer. Damn, the narrator is the MVP in this. It really is, isn't it? Oh, she cheated. She became the narrator. Isn't saying all of this his job? She killed him. Oh, he really is, isn't the he? The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this. I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. I did nothing. He dealt with himself. No way. Bro gave up. This is it, then. The big moment. I just hope it's a way out. The candle flicked as we pushed forward. The air is different here. The As you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent death, rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. You are once again separated from everything that had no deep crevices, from everything that... We're us again? I guess so. How interesting. We actually won, didn't we? I don't think so. What? What? What is happening to me? Okay, so the grabby hands grab her. I will save this. I will save this here. And we'll continue the more... The path that looks more just and then still interesting. Why do you hate? Her thought slips through you, unheeded, as you fall. And fall. And fall. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, many ha ha ha, more than she said. What an end. But at least it's ours. Yes. An empire of frigid nothing. I don't think this qualifies as saving the world, but at least you didn't ruin it. No, I think we saved it. What happens now? We didn't let her out. But I want to know what he thinks happens now. Oh, and why is that? Did she kill She didn't mention me. <laughs> nice. He's gone. But it rips out. Terminal velocity. Torn out. You and the princess look at each other. What? What is happening to me? 
Grab your hands, grab, grab. Grab the way. If you don't answer her before she's gone and you feel her resistance on her. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? So even though he has his memory, he always says. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Okay, I already explored both of those, so we're we'll approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. Not yet. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. I already said you. Ignore the cowards. You have to look. He has a point. They are cowards. Voices feel distant. Approach. Gaze into reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always. Wither. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. See what? What can? That looks. You are at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction, a mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. Speaking in metaphors. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Can be a contradiction. Don't exist. Already, they do. How can you stand? Do you think of this vessel? This one is loneliness turned to seething. She could not find her strength in others, so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Still not care. I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Okay, let's see the contradiction. As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. She insulting me. How many more vessels? We will know when we near our destination. Doesn't matter. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? Of course not. It does seem small from here, and the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be, but that doesn't make any of them less special. Okay. Have we figured out what? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward. Except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. I'm ready to go. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. Let's just go to the cabin. 
I've been here before. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Okay, so we're gonna proceed into the cabin, and my plan is I'm not gonna take the weapon, and then we'll do something. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The okay. blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna enter the basement, no blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I don't think that's a reason to slay somebody. Oh, he says this every time. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? So, my master plan is I'm gonna gain her trust and then I'm gonna stab her behind her back. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. No, I'm not. I'm just checking in on you. I'm here to save you. I'm gonna tell her I'm here to how save How many her. times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Who knows? What are gonna see? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Now, I've already done this up to a point in a previous video. So, I'm not gonna talk a lot during this, because I already know what happens. Hi! I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. No, we're not. Hold on, let's talk. I'll see what I can do. You're only making this more difficult. No, you are. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you are. No, you're doing the right thing. Yeah. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. It Doubtful. Isn't. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. Who knows? If there isn't the key, do you have any other... Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. The narrator really doesn't want us to leave. Is someone else here? Let's just go back. There's you make no your point. way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? For the narrator, of course. Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. No, you're in a mess. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Who's they? There's a slight panic 
rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. I've seen this before, though, and it still shocks me every time. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you, the clang of bouncing metal. What do you mean, clang of bouncing metal? It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Not yet. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Who knows? Let's see what this <sighs> is. Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. And we cut her arm off. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Oh, no, can we get through this? She didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Yeah. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. That's because she you. isn't. Now let's get out of here. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Oh, so you take control of me now. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Yes, you Watch can. Watch me. And she will. What are you doing? Slaying the okay. princess. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. Best. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? Of course I was. What were you thinking? I don't know what's come over you. But if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? Yeah, you probably do. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. Once with her teeth, damn, she's not a human anymore. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. Who knows? It can't just end like this, right? Sadly, it can and it will. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 2. The Witch. This is new. We're gonna skip the narrator's dialogue from now. You're on You're here. Getting a wait hasn't this happened already? Okay, no, but I died. Let's proceed to the cabin. We don't care about. Oh, anyone. warning! She will. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Oh, now we have the opportunist. Let's see. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay, we're gonna take the blade. The blade is your Im- it didn't say anything about the mirror, mirror, mirror. We're gonna take the blade. You take the blade from the shelf. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. 
Yeah, but my idea is not really to save the, to slay the princess. I'm, I'm gonna do something different. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's not actually a bad idea. Yeah, he makes a point. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw, waiting to swallow you up into the earth. Damn, that's deep. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. That's a valid reason to say somebody as always. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down, don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Probably. Say nothing. I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. No, you are. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I'm not nervous. You're I nervous. know who you are, and I remember what you've done. I've done nothing. You have no. Proof. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. Friendly enough. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. You're going to end the world. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? That's a point. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? Probably both. You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. That's some poor wording right there. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. Damn. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. No, that's not the blade. That's not fair. How would she know that? So, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh. No. You've already been here, haven't you? Yes. How many times do, I, do we have to tell you this? That's pretty sharp. How do you figure that one out? He has a point. I call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us, then? Do you remember last time? Of course you do. No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. Talking about the third wheel. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? I don't Just think focus so. on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay whoa, whoa, her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now he's talking about his world. No other narrator said that. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't, Don't so. talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. How do you know? I'm sorry about last time. And now is where the twist comes. I am totally going to backtrack. And I'm going to go on this path. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Yes. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. If you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. 
I win. Don't worry, the blade isn't for you or not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? Get the sense that you're not happy with me. Okay, this one. Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. Three, two, one. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh, I, that's bad. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... Can, please continue that. Please, you don't have the balls to continue that. He doesn't. What a hero. A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. You get the sense that you're not happy with me. I died last time, you didn't. If anyone here shouldn't be trusted, it's you. We're gonna go with this. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. How much harder? No, I'm not gonna... It could be straightforward with my intentions. I didn't care for how you treated me last time. And I think you might be a danger to people. I'm going to attack you now. Why would I tell her I attack her? Don't trust you, not enough to free you and definitely blah blah blah. Don't want to hurt you, but clearly there's some broken trust. Take this as a gesture of my goodwill. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You... You can't be serious. No, uh, now, am... hold on. We should put this to a vote. The blade is one of our most valuable assets. We can't just give it to her. What if she uses it to kill us? I vote... No. Well, 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 well. Let me just get ready for this. <clears throat> Let's take a few steps back. Who asked, little bro? Nobody asked. I said so, so we're doing it. As do I. I, uh, abstain? So those are two votes no, a hundred votes yes. You abstain? She's going to kill us if we give it to her. This is the democracy we're giving her the blade. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? But of course you do. I know, because I'm... You toss better. the blade at the princess's feet. She eyes it with suspicion before kneeling down to pick it up. Of course she's not going to kill us with it. What are you talking about? I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? Because I'm sorry. What am I? She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. What do you think happens now? We both walk out of here together. It's up to you. It's why I gave you the blade I chose last time. I regret it, so now it's your time to choose. Yeah, we're gonna choose that. Her shoulders tense and her eyes dart away. This is another trick. You're trying to sow doubt, but it's not going to work on me. Of course. And then she buries the blade in your heart. God damn. Who would have predicted that? What? No. No, come on. That's not right. I told you! I told you this is what she was going to do. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. But wait for it. <laughs> I did it! I got you! You... you... Did you see that in her voice? That was doubt. That was regret. The princess seems to tremble. Look at her, her face. Her smile fading quickly, replaced with concern. Her nervous eyes brim with tears. What did I tell you? I did the correct choice. Why? Why did you let me do this? But you don't have the strength to respond. Nor do you have the time. Does I die? Everything goes dark. And you die. Now let's see who the third voice is. The Thor. Interesting. You're on a path in the woods. Of course she stabbed us. We gave her the blade, which I Why might add. Why did it I voted skip against. that? Why did it skip that? I wanted to see that. That's not fair. But the whole point was that she wasn't supposed to do that. The whole point of giving her the blade was to break the cycle of violence. And she just, she just killed us anyway. Yeah, we got the cheated. I guess it really doesn't matter if she killed us though, right? We're back here, which means that everything's fine, or fine adjacent. Probably. Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. Maybe that's all it'll take to show her that there's another way to do things. Of course. You know, maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. 
How's it going? Give what another try exactly? You are aware I've been listening to you, right? Nobody cares, bro. Who else? Like that else? changes anything. We all know the game is rigged. It doesn't even matter if she's nice this time. I'm sure he'll find a way to turn us against each. Great. So you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Twice, actually. Yes. Sure. Twice. Oh, then man. I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. You already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. So don't muck this up. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. It's actually my third. This place is different. It keeps changing. Wonderful. If the woods themselves are changing, then that's all the more reason for you to take this seriously. It would mean your grip on things is slipping, which, in turn, likely means her influence is spreading. Someone's in the know. I've had enough of these annoying little secrets. If you want us to do this, you have to let us in on your game already. All of your game. All of, of your game. I've already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Don't listen to her, definitely don't free her, and if you can, don't even think about her. How's that supposed to go? We're going to free her. <sighs> please don't. No, you should have said pretty please. I'm with him. If our previous encounters have taught us anything, it's that freeing her is a bad idea. I think you'll be surprised. Let's just see how the wind blows. I'm not opposed to saving her, but let's not rule anything out just yet. Let's see what she has to say. Yes. Stop sitting on the fence and pick a side already. We don't need you waffling when things get hairy. I've already picked a side. Our side. I'm here to make sure that whatever happens, we wind up on top. So he basically goes with Because that's ball. worked out great so far. Yeah. Well, we're not out of the game yet, are we? And again, I'll have you know, I wouldn't have gotten us killed last time. I wanted to stab her in the back, not hand over our precious backstabbing implement. <laughs> Screw the cabin, what happens if we just leave? You seem to be look taking the whole looping thing in stride. Let's just silently proceed to the cabin. It isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. I don't know if I'd say everyone. Are you talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one too. Really? He... Ignore him, he's just talking for talking. Say my position is the only one that matters. What do you mean? I think he skipped his dialogue so she, he doesn't have to talk to me like that. The princess is a threat to you, she's a threat to me and most importantly, she's a She's a threat to the world. You know what you have to do. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is hardly an interior at all anymore. The burned out ruins merely suggest the shape of the structure that once stood here, charred wood still reeking of ash. But beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain, the promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. And the roses, many, many roses. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table. A pristine... Wait, this isn't right. This is supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Probably because she still has it. We... we gave it to her last time. She can't still have it, can she? Yeah, the table forgot to reset. Well, it's not here. And if she has it... Let me guess, you want to get all chummy with her. <laughs> Should get the. What was his name? There was the other voice, the one that liked her. The smitten. We should get the smitten here. Look, as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. It's just the smart thing to do. No, it's the opportunist thing to do. I wouldn't be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. She can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. Supposed to work. Of course we don't get to make a choice about the blade. Every single time we come back here, something has to be different. Of course. Approach the mirror. Now this one. Yeah. Why didn't you mention the mirror? I didn't mention a mirror because there isn't a mirror. Yes, there is. But he says there isn't one. That's got to count for something, right? Yeah. He's a liar. Yeah, it counts for something. He's either a liar or he doesn't hold all the cards. But I think we already knew it had to be one of those. 
Both. So, is the door to the basement behind the mirror? I promise you there isn't a mirror, and there isn't a door to the basement. The entrance is more of a burned-out frame than anything else, and it's right there on the far side of the room. Do you really not see it? Nope. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. Might as well take a look while we can. There's nothing else to do here now that the knife has been taken from us. Plus. Wipe the you mirror. reach forward and wave your hand through the hollow entrance leading to the basement. You really thought there was a mirror there, didn't you? That can't be good. As if things weren't unpredictable enough. Figures. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Yep, yes, that's, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. Enter the basement, finally. You step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. The stairs to the basement are covered in a fine layer of gritty ash. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. Okay, that looks strange. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease. At least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. I'd say this feels like a trap, but you practically said as much. Yet you still want us to keep going. Because he does not care about us, if we die or not. They're only thorns. I'd say getting a few scratches in exchange for the lives of everyone in existence is a fair trade. I'm sure you'll manage. Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion, hobbles up the stairs. Pain and suspicion. I can't get away from you, can I? You betray me, I kill you, and you come back. You let me kill you, and you come back. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, want to figure out the way out of here for good. I don't know what I want. I never really chose to come here. Want to free you a minute? Just want to talk, really talk. This one. I think you know how this goes. I'm down here and I can't leave. So come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. Proceed down the stairs. You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. You step out into what was once a vast Damn. open cavern, what now overrun it? by briars and prickles and thistles, the space thick with hostile vegetation. That looks bad. Who we'll put her there? At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess, her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. He's had that realization. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? Of course not. It's not that. Yeah, I'm here to laugh. What did you think would happen after you killed me? Do you, did you think I wouldn't hold it against you? Okay, I really want to see what happens. We're gonna save this here. I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you if you let me. I can cut you free, but you have to give me the blade. Reach for the blade. You're in a prison of your own making. I broke our cycle of violence if you still want to. Follow in it, be my guest. Turn around and leave. Okay, that's so. I guess I don't have anything left to say to you. Fine, if you're going to be like that. So we have pretty much a couple of options. Free her, laugh at her, or leave. We're gonna free her this episode, because I want that ending. This one. I... I want to trust you. Her grip tightens on the blade. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? What do you mean? You're not the only one who yearns for freedom and as trapped as you are, I think we need to live together. There's nothing I can say to change your mind. We're gonna do that. The princess clutches the blade closer to her chest. That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. You've hurt me as well. Her eyes Twice. dart away from yours for a brief moment. And I've also hurt you. Finally. Can I take the blade now? Her eyes briefly meet yours, then dart back to the floor. She hangs her head in resignation. 
Okay. Let's uh, reach for the blade. You reach towards her bloodied hands, laying your palm on her trembling fingers. For a moment, she clutches it even tighter, her knuckles going white with the effort. But then the tension fades. Her grip finally loosens and she allows you to take the weapon. You carefully pull it free from the thorns that they scrape at your skin, leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms. I'll be damned. She really gave it to us. Yeah, that's very not uh, not like her. It feels like it's been so long since we've held real power in our hands. I wonder what we should do with it. We free her, obviously. It's the right thing to do. Of course. Don't listen to the narrator. I think you're right. She's as much a victim in all of this as we've been. Besides... It would really stick it to him to free her. Yeah. Or, hear me out, we slay her right here, right now. She's never been so helpless, and if we don't take advantage of that, we may never get another chance. We will, in another that ending. That sounds like a splendid idea. You should listen to him. Not now. We've all said our piece. Now it's time to make our move. It's two against one. It's two against two. You don't count. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, and why shouldn't he count? Because he's clearly not one of us. That doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. He shouldn't. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? Had her free slay the princess. Save. Just wanted my brain back. You're on your own. <laughs> Yes, free. what a good idea. Let's cut her free. In no way, bro, switch sides like that. Oh, so you're suddenly team free her? You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. Let's kick him out of the head. I can do whatever I want, and I believe with my whole heart that this is the right course of action. Let's free this princess. You, Mr. You, can kindly... Fuck right off. Even if he'll stick a knife on our back as soon as he has the opportunity, it's still better to have him nominally on our side. At least that gets him to shut up for a while. See? We're all friends here, united in our actions and intentions. I don't think so. Yeah, united. But the other one has a point. If it keeps you quiet, sure. We're all friends. You take the blade to the thorny vines imprisoning the princess and she flinches relaxing only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away, as if, after all of that, she's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. But you're not going to do that, are you? Still, all it would take is a single slip of the blade. That's not gonna Is happen. that really all you've got, threatening us with an accidental misstep? I expected more from you. Our blade didn't even waver when he said that. Yeah, you're right, he's a bit of a nobody, isn't he? Good thing I've been on your side of all this since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the princess the falls into dialogue. your arms, tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. I hate you. <laughs> uh, nice. I'm enjoying this very much, as he's not. You actually meant it. You rescued me. Of course I did. Of course I did. I just really hate the people who put us here. Remain silent. She smiles, her hand slipping into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. He hates this so much. I'm so happy for him. Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed you downstairs are now blocking your only way out. Ah, oh, what a You're shame. You're getting desperate, aren't you? Even more proof that you can't actually do anything to stop us. We cut through those other vines just fine. They're only thorns. I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. Yeah, that's the attitude. I'm not even sure we need to do any cutting. We can just move them out of the way. What a pathetic showing, really. A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. Let's step into the thorns. As you step into the thorns covering the basement stairs, they yield. <laughs> Both you and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacle. 
This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the world ever do to you to deserve this? It's not really the world, it's more you. It feels so good to hear you say that, that you're admitting you've lost and we've bested you at your own game at last. I don't care what happens now. That's all I've wanted. Yes. You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. No, it's We've not. We've already made our decision. Yes. We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? And all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we finally could. Step into your free now. Hands clasped, the two of you open the door and step out into a new day. You irredeemable murderers. What do we do now? Well, well, well. I think now we go visit the Shifting Mound. Where's everything going? Why is it so cold? As I was saying, we're going to the Shifting Mound. Do not get the chance to respond, you will, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory recalls. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Don't. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror. You approach this, the mirror. This doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. Don't think so. If they think it's bad, I'm with them. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always takes, makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. You sit to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Whoa, that's new. What do you mean? Do you know what we'll find out there? That's a rhetorical question. Do you know? Do you want to tell me? There's trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not last. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. She will make for a cautious heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Okay. Do you think we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Okay. If I did, I would already be awake. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are some voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is nothing else. I can, I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have narrator have the vessel have one? No, their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Who knows? He does I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you were on the cusp of yours. Who knows? How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. You heard that, guys. One more episode. Actually, we'll see. If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. Okay. 
This is the left. And I'm not going back, I'm just going to stay here. What? You've already tried waiting, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. Wait. I will see you when you return. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. That's all deep. And the game crashed. What? Um, let me open it again and try to get back there. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Did you hear that? She did that intentionally. What? <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever seen. I'm ready the next to go time back. I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Also, before we go any further, I should really remember to do this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to get caught up with the story, you can go watch the four other videos I have on my channel of this. Anyways, let's get going. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay, the end of the world, what are you talking about? we're just gonna go to the cabin you make your way up the short path to the cabin you'll find the princess within a warning before you go any further she will lie she will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her don't believe a word she says okay bro i have no plan on doing what she said i'll do i'll just go in and kill her The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Yep, gonna take the it. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let me take it. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Okay, enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, Slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A valid reason to slay somebody, as always. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Almost as if she knows we took the dagger. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Continue down the Good. stairs. You're still listening to reason. Stop talking. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Probably for a good reason. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Don't say Focus that. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Did your nerves and step forward. You step forward your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm not gonna answer that. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, 
You'll have to get close enough to use it. Who says I won't, and that's a bluff. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. You can do nothing. She's unarmed. Powerless. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Planning on, give me the choice. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Then that's not the look of somebody dangerous. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, this is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. You're dead. Stop talking. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Yes. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. Are you sure about that? But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? Oh, so I can't choose that anymore. Let's see, of course not. That was too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Yes. I then. really don't think you should do that. He has a point, but we can't turn back now. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? Probably. I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Check for a pulse. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse. Even though you know you're not going to find one. We definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry, do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Why is that? When that happens, there's usually something important coming up. Wait, what was that? As I was saying, her heart's beat. You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat, followed by another, a and another. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. What? Who was with her face? Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. A blade of her own? How? Where? As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. At least there's that. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. I guess we're even now. See you around. Okay. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? It doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. Yeah. That's not worth it. Everything goes dark. And you die. Bye bye narrator. Let's see the second narrator. The Razor. I heard that's interesting. Okay. You're on a path, blah, blah, you're blah. here to slay. Blah, blah, blah. I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. No, we're not. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yeah, probably. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Bro's mad. She cheated. And I agree with him. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, bro. As she was last time. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. That's a choice of words. You are made for this job. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? Let's just proceed to the cabin. 
a warn she will lie. He couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. Okay, let's see. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Good luck. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Say so. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is... Okay. We are going to take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Fair point, but I'm just taking it for self-defense now. Uh, things look bad. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Yeah. No self-defense. Let's kill her. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. Yeah. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Why aren't you questioning the sounds, but you have a point now. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. Yeah, he knows. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. <laughs> How am I supposed to do that, idiot? Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. Oh, she's mocking us now, get ready to die. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, it's almost demonic. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. Nice wording, sharp eyes. There's something definitely wrong with her. Look at how she's holding her hands behind her back. And that... Wait, 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 that's so wrong. So that might be the sh I might be overcomplicating this. But if that's the shadow of her leg, it's like that. Uh, that, that. I wonder if she remembers us. She sure does. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Stop, stop playing around, I'll kill you. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. What's with that mischievous green? I can't. That goofy green. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. She's basically armed as well. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Give me the option to choose something. Screw it. Slay the princess. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Yeah, that's right. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. <laughs> you don't trust her with dying. Yeah, that, that's logical. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Whose meat? Not ours, right? It's not hers. Hers at first, then yours. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> no way. The ultimate troll. How? Wh what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. <laughs> and then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. 
it still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. For a second I thought that was coming from somewhere. So glad it is not her mom. Bull shit. Absolute bullshit. Exactly. You're going to die now. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. You should have saved before this, because I'm... Okay, let's save now. It's history. Can I go back? Can I go back? I don't think I can go back. I'm very curious about that, but we'll be late. The arms race. I've never seen that before. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Yeah, bro has a You're point. What? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? Wait, bro just gained admin powers. I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Bro just gained admin powers, that's insane. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. Oh, so the hunted came out because uh, she killed us, so... So cowardly last time. She pulled her leg apart to stab us with a blade. Good. It's better that way. Without a fight, no one can win. And if no one can win, then nothing has any meaning. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We got two voices this time? That's insane. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? A hundred. This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? Yeah. That can't be right, that's too much responsibility. <laughs> nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. Bro is so motivated. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched, we take it. Okay, bro made the choice for me, I Okay, guess. sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Yeah. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. Probably. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. I, I like this, let's keep this going. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? He doesn't see the mirror. There isn't a door, there's just that mirror. There isn't a mirror. You only messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. You can't see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Yeah. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Yeah, let me break it. Close the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Yeah, he has a point. Let's go. Wipe the mirror. Yeah. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. You're an illusion, stop it. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. I should hire this guy. He's very good for you too. Very straight up. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Okay, let's see. 
You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Skittering. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hmm. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna die this time so bad. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Yeah, have the stubborn with me, you're dying bitch. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. And getting her killed... Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Yeah. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. But you don't. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Your internal uh. bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. Before it's too late, whoever doesn't like blood and stuff, get out. She's loose, and she is coming for you. I am coming for her. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Yeah. Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. Wait, wait, wait. So we're going to fight her again and we're going to have a stiff upper lip of her. She can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. We're going to appeal to her authority, puff her up a bit. There is no reason we can't talk this out. We're going to unconditionally surrender. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. Saving. It's such a good save, right? She has swords for arms with don't. We're panicking. She wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. All of these ideas suck. Every choice is great. I mean, almost. I'm starting with this one. Now, I've tolerated quite a bit from you, but this is a bridge too far. Please <laughs> don't uh... try romancing the princess. She wants to kill you. She's going to end the world if you don't stop her. And you're going to end the world if we don't stop. Yeah, do we have to flirt with the murderous monster? I mean, it's worth a try. I'd rather not. I'm into it. <laughs> of course you I can't say I mind either. If it weren't for all the cheating, I'd say she's pretty cute. Can we flirt by fighting her, though? Oh, this is it. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this choice. Let's see. The look. The look. We've all used it. Yeah, do you not know about the look? The look, eh? So we're getting serious about this. I don't think it matters. You flash the princess the look. Damn, we flash her the look. Let's see. And a rosy blush rushes to the princess's cheeks as she breaks into a wide grin. Unbelievable. Damn. Oh, is that how it is? Yeah, okay, I feel that. I like you too. Neat. Oh, be damned. This is actually going to work, isn't it? I don't think it is. Still going to kill you. But now we can both enjoy a mutual romantic subtext to the murder. No. Or not. Oh, I like her. I like her a lot. Ain't no way, bro, fell in love. We're gonna get the, the simp in here. Blush still glowing in her cheeks. The princess closes the distance between you, blades flashing. She skewers you. Of course, this was how it was going to end. We're saving this and we're going back. Load, go back. Let's see. Uh, she has souls for us. We don't. We're panicking. She wins by killing us. So let's beat her to it. We're gonna do this. No, no, no. That's a terrible idea. A win's a win. Screw it. We've already died twice. What's a third? A third is a third. It's bad. No, it's not. Who cares? Exactly. Fine. You raise your blade above your head. Oh, this is new. What are you going to do? Are you really going to stab yourself? Neat. Wait, I thought we are going to kill her, not ourselves. Then you skewer yourself. You idiot. 
I'm gonna save that. I thought I was gonna kill her. Can I kill her? Yeah, this one. This one is going to kill. <laughs> yes, yes. This is the best idea anyone has ever had. One. Well, Thank you, I'm quite proud of it. Yeah, sure, why the hell not? Let's see if we can turn off the part of us that feels things. Pain is good, it's how we stay alive. Nah, I'm sick of pain. Yeah, turn off the pain. Kill the hunted guy. Yeah, this whole thing will be a lot more tolerable if it didn't hurt so much. Uh, I, sorry, bro, that's how life goes. Wait for her. Do your worst, I bet you can't even hurt. Sure thing, I love a challenge. I bet I can hurt you so much. Stop smiling like that. The princess closes the distance and we dodge. Oh, that's new. I like that. And you dodge. And we fight back. And you fight back. Exactly. Oh, you're fast. But let's see how fast you really are. You and the princess enter a quick and vicious exchange, each of you wounding the other, but neither landing a fatal blow. Okay, that's still better than dying. Yes, yes, this is exactly it. But the dance couldn't last forever. All it takes is a single clumsy moment. She skewers you. Again. Gotcha. And? Does it hurt? No. Ooh, that's new. Oh, a new one of us. Wait, that's very new. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Not yet. You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? Yeah, where are you? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead, 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 dead. Wait, two more guys. If we didn't realize we were dead, then we made progress. Good job. Oh. This is a very interesting path, I'm glad we took this. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. And so is she. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? A million. This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. I bet you do, you monster. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. <laughs> That's nice. Let's play so many me. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Yeah, kill her already. Yeah, I'll pass on that. No. As long as we keep moving, why not? It's not like dying again and again is doing us any harm. Let's see how far this little mind hole goes, shall we? Yeah, this is very interesting. Come on, show me something new. Yeah, show me a new voice I haven't seen before. It actually the broken to me. That's a bad choice. No. Wait, 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 I wanna give her the look again. Let's give her the look again. We'll save this. Let's give her the look again. Doesn't work and she kills you again and again and again. And your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life, holding you, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. Oh, the simp is here. She skewers you. You're cute. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. And then you skewer yourself. Oh. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh. That didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Oh, the contrarian. I don't know if I've seen that one. What's the point? It's all the same. She skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. Why is she taunting me? It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Just panic! Flee! The paranoid, okay. She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. 
Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Do you see how she looks? What reason? But we have the opportunist. She skewers you. Of course. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. Yeah. None of this is working. The skeptic. Think. Think. Damn. How many voices do I have? She skewers you. And then everything goes dark. And you, you die. die. Chapter 4. Mutually Assured Destruction. Damn. We've never made it past chapter 3. I'm not going don't back. Lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. Do we have all the voices? Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Ho ho! What if we throw it out the window? Yeah, we have all the voices. I hate this one. Over my dead body. Yeah. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. You probably shouldn't. Besides, what better way to die so very many times? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. I'm not gonna listen to that simp anymore. No, ain't no way. We're skipping his dialogues. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. Hmm, interesting. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. What is the narrator? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things and we'll stick to doing them? Seems fair. Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star. Fine by me. Shut up. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's more of a slide? We know. Fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. You better. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Well, that's because you are and because you're not me. Don't care. Just want to win. Yeah, seems fair. Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. Okay, I know how this is gonna turn out. So before we get here, this is your absolutely last warning. Click off if you don't want to see undescribable gore. Click off. If you're still here, good job. You're you're not you're not a scaredy cat. Let's, no, I'm not gonna see the other turn because that's not for you to. But good job, like and subscribe. You know, this last time I killed you and you didn't pop right back up again. I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. No, that's not gonna happen. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? No, not really. Can you just stab yourself? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just gonna show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. What if I wait for very long? What are you gonna do? Bro's gonna insane. Okay, making background noise. Are you gonna say what she does? Uh, oh, d do you want me to talk now? No, you can go stay in a corner. Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Ah, oh, that's the wholesome ending. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. It's now. The princess's oh. skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes oh. a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls, all that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Okay, so we have a target, but that's so bad. Uh, that's the that's a final boss. Are you ready for what comes next? How do you still have a voice? Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's 
gorgeous. Yes. Shut up. Behold the perfect woman. Bro, shut the heck up. What's wrong with the sim? The stubborn is making fun of him as he should. Do you think we can throw her out the window? <laughs> nice. That looked painful. How is she still alive? It's not her, it's a monster. It's the final boss. That's why I left her for the final episode. Heart's still beating, that's all she needs. Yeah, stab her heart. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. Exactly. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? You'll stab her in the heart. Of course. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. You have a point. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. Don't, bro. We still have a chance. Empty my mind. What just happened? It's so quiet. Empty. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Oh, so by getting rid of the voices, we got into the long nothing. Do not act. Connection of your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. Oh, I'm, I'm becoming a god. I'm teleporting. You're incredible. The weapons crash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There is only the dance, the ebb and flow, shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your heart's pound and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition and her strikes too. Both strikes are lethal, neither of you will survive, neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending, if you say so. And the grabby hands take her. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Interesting. Approach the mirror. You do so. And we can gaze into our reflection. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Oh, no. But that isn't right. You can be nothing. You refocus your gaze, then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. Who's that? That's a crow with teeth. Explore. Are you me? I think you know what I am. God damn, the narrator's a crow. Crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. And then another crack forms, and another. Oh, okay. Let's see. Explore, so you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. What are you? Are you something like... The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Many, many. What are you? Are you something like... Oh, I'm nothing like you. I am an echo. Likely one of many. Somebody made you, after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Yeah. Others like you, you've said something like that before. Has every narrator literally really been that different? Of course. That is by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, 
it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. Okay. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Yeah, I'm interesting. Do you have anything to say for yourself for all of this hubris? I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. Okay. Tell everything you've done to us, do you think anyone deserves to live? Nobody alive has done anything to you. I'm all gone. But if you and the princess want to smite the rest of them for the crimes of a dead man, if you really want to be that petty, there isn't much I can do to stop you. <laughs> nice, uh, nice uh, convincing me. You're doing a very good job, like, insulting me. I have so many questions for you. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Not physically. So many questions for you. Then ask them, and make it quick. I won't last for long now that you can see me. I'm sorry I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? We've already crossed the point of no return. There's no saving me now. Not that there's ever been much of me to save. Soon I'll be gone entirely, and you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her. But I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. Do it. Slay her, and rid the world of death and suffering. God damn, what a choice. We have to kill death. That's not right. Every time I ask you something, it's like a piece of your base. Are you a part of me or are you something else? No. This is the princess, did you make her? She thing? is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. Mm. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Seems mm. that every me you met did a real shit job of it, though. You're right about that. One part. I think you're out of time. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. Rest easy, I'm going to destroy her. I don't know, I don't know yet. We're going to save this. Are you lying? I can't tell. But I've said my piece and my time is up. I'm so sorry, bro. You've been a real shit narrator, but you've been there all along, so. I'm very sorry to see you go. Have a good one, mate. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fade away. You know what you have to do. Bye bye. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Proceed to the cabin one last time. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. Whoa, what's happening? I can finally see you, and you can finally see me. God damn, what's this? It's been so long, and my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. Can't say the same. Missed you too, do you know about the echo? Did you hear our conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Okay, so... Uh, the narrator of what was left of him wants us to kill death, but she says he is deluded by his fear of death. Shouldn't mind him. It's interesting. 
and the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound, a pale imitation of what I actually am. What happens then? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? I guess so. When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? See? So many stories we've left unfinished can we really just leave? Even as your eyes begin to open, you still hold on to the notions of is and is not, of beginning and end, pitch black islands in the blinding light of the infinite. There is nothing to resolve, nothing restraining us but us. Okay, don't you have a say in all this? Of course I have a say in all of this. You and I share reflections of each other's burdens, just as you and I share reflections of each other's gifts. If we didn't, the winding paths that brought us here wouldn't have been full of strife and conflict. Okay. Let's talk this through. I still have many questions and answered before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. And you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. Okay. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. Hey, what's happening? Oh. A boundless torrent of blades cuts you from boundless angles. You are a body. You are gory ribbons. You are a body again. And you feel all of it. On and on it goes until your bodies are not your thoughts or not you. Alive, dead, alive, dead, alive, dead, then alive and dead and alive and dead all at once. You learn to put yourself away and to follow the flow of reality. And you used it to rise above me. Okay. You died countless steely deaths, and you lived countless short lives, and yet it is all so far behind you. Unjust impossibilities pushed you to become something you would never have been without them. Okay. And to snatch that body away, we would have killed each other. We were self-destructive. It so good to finally win, yeah. And it was a joy for me to finally face my end. Even when I thought I had reached an unconquerable peak, you showed me how much further I could still climb. Okay. Another. A thought is a vine, and some thoughts nurture thorns that bleed the soul, and endless growth that blots your vision and strangles your trust. Okay. When I succumbed to myself, you patiently stood by me and cut the thistles that rooted in my skin. Yeah, I did. Your compassion is what freed us both, but compassion is a thing that must be nurtured, and you cannot nurture that which cannot change. Oh. If I had known what you really were, I wouldn't have been so quick to fail. Of course I helped you, I didn't want us to hate each other. Then help me again. We are each other's liberation. Okay, next. Ooh. That's a great question. 
Can you say with certainty what shape a wall without you will take? Don't want that wall to come to pass. You don't didn't give me much choice. And yet still you chose. To be capable of change is to be capable of choice. Okay. Your lover tried to stake into your body. And another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? Oh, that's deep. But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Okay. I was blinded by emotions, we both know that. Yeah. We were both taken by the moment. It was how things are meant to be. Probably. As the crash between you abates, you begin to shake your will rapidly dissolving. Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There okay. is no constant. There is no center. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. Is it to believe in the things you believe in when you get to sit above it all? What do you think happens if we live here? I'm ready to go, but how do we live? Never wanted to fight you, but how do we live? I can't let that happen. I can't let everything die. I'm gonna save here because it's quite interesting. I have to fight for a better world, I'm so sorry. Your cruelty itself, I cannot let you exist. I don't know what the answer is, but there has to be something else. It can't be this, I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. You've done everything you can to make me understand your perspective, but you keep dismissing mine. Think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. Okay, this seems interesting. What I offer you is not perspective. It is truth. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do it alone. Hey, the hero's back. Which hero are you? You have no idea how good it is to hear you, yeah. It's good to be here. She's too many things all at once out here. If you want to get through to her, you need some way to get through all of that divine confidence. There's still a piece of me nestled close to where it all began. I can take you there. I can take you to her heart. Yeah, bro, get me there. It's time to resume our dance. No, not yet. She's relentless, isn't she? Let's make this quick. Are you ready? Yes. Then let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what's happening? And here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Yeah. Do you need me to describe things? That'd be nice. A little comfort in an almost unfamiliar place. Oh, the contrarians here as well. Oh, you made it here too. We never really got to talk to her, did we? <laughs> this one, I mean. I like that description now, if you don't mind, for all time's sake. Yeah, of course. The interior of the cabin is... well, it's not really a cabin, is it? It's that terrifying blend of everything. Only it doesn't feel so terrifying anymore. Yeah. It's still shaped like a cabin, it's just different in places. There's still walls, a door to the basement, a table, that knife. Windows. Okay. You know, come to think of it, I don't think he ever really included the windows in his cabin descriptions, did he? He did not. I always thought they were implied. He never mentioned the mirror either, but that didn't mean he implied it was there. Yeah. It's gone, though. I think it did whatever it needed to do. Probably. And I know you're still trying to find some middle ground, but if things go south, we're going to need that blade. Is it just the three of us? Did anyone else make it to the cabin? It's just us. I think the rest of them are still out there. Jumbled up in the rest of her. That is bad. I wanted the stubborn with me. And I've been here since you left me here. No hard feelings. I'm just glad you're back to see this through. What do you mean I left you here? 
the narrator really gone, take the blade into the basement. Or take the blade. That's probably for the best. It always seems to give us more things we can do, right? Yeah. So you're not going to suggest we throw it out the window? Okay. No, we've been through too much for that. And he's gone, so there's no one left to mess with but ourselves. You've gotten serious. <laughs> Besides, what's the third beat? It isn't funny if I suggest that twice, especially since you never took me up on it last time. <laughs> There's the guy I know. Of course. Or throw the blade out the window. <laughs> Let's do a save here. You actually did it! I know I just told you not to, but I'm proud that you did it anyways. It's like you've finally left the nest. That's so nice. Yeah, just like that it's gone, isn't it? Blade tossed, glass shattered. I guess we'll have to make do without it. There's your third beat. <laughs> hey! <laughs> You're right. Good work. That was really funny. Nice. What is the narrator? Enter the basement. Those winding stairs again. But now there's only one way forward. Do you remember the first time we were here? The first time we heard her voice? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, it was a real mess. Stopped being fun pretty quick. It's okay. You can come down. The stairs won't bite. Not this time. We don't know what you want from us. But let's talk. All of us. Maybe we can help you find your way. I think this is where our different ending starts. She doesn't sound messy anymore, though. At least somebody here feels put together. Continue down the stairs. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That was easy compared to last time. Yes! Just stairs! No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. This is exactly what happens if you start with the stranger path. You get this. If you didn't, if you started with anything else, you would have gotten a normal princess. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So you didn't bring the knife. After all the lives we've lived together, and all the lives we haven't, you somehow found a way to move outside of the script. Are we missing a page? But them. Never got the chance to talk to you before you were taken away, not you. you. Sorry for what I did to you. I don't want to be this one. It's okay. No hard feelings. In a way, you helped us become a version of her. But we weren't very good at it. I don't think a conversation with us then would have been very insightful. Probably. That's probably why we were taken away. That's all we had to offer you. It was time to change again. Yeah. After all we did, she's just forgiving us. Just like that. You know, that means a lot. We'll see. Don't want to be a god, are you the same as around there? But if we just leave, I think the only thing left for us to do. Or since I threw the blade. This Hard one. Hard agree. Seems overrated. Too much pressure. Probably. But that's what you've always been. Even now. You can't put aside such an important part of who you are. And neither can we. Okay. So, you might as well embrace it. Okay. Are you the same as you are out there? Yes, we think. We're kind of like a shadow. Out there, every part of us is blended together into one huge idea. A big wave of unyielding change crashing against the world. Okay. But in here, we're fractured. Small. Still a little more separate than we'd like to be. Our instincts still trying to pull us in different directions. That's kind of like us, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We really are the same. Wait, so it's... Just so we got this all clear it's three of her and it's three of us so yeah we really are the same what if we just leave he'd hate that so you should do it <laughs> even if he isn't here anymore it's the spirit of the thing yeah just just in spite of the idea of him leave but what would happen if we left with you would we exist inside ourselves are you sure you want to find out if that's possible or what that would mean for you is that what you want? Make <laughs> their hands in yours. I always wanted to live with you, but I didn't like being a god. I 
walk through that cabin door as we are just twin doesn't matter what it means what matters is that we're living together so so everything is basically the same so it's gonna be after so many iterations so many different versions of us clashing and coming together and clashing again leaving with you feels like all we ever really wanted okay i think i'm gonna stay right here whatever you're doing right now wherever you're going it feels like it's for just the two of you it was very nice to see you yeah i think we've done our job are you two going to be okay alone thanks for everything you sure you don't want to come we're not alone we have each other and i'm sure we'll find the others i hope you do You'll, you'd make a great team like the avengers but with the voices in my head live with the princess Hands clasped together, you and the princess in the basement behind for the last time. As quiet as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thoughts. But there is an energy in the silence, an electricity and a dissipation of the energy. In the top of the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. You feel their hand tremble in yours, they are unsure of themselves for the first time in their long and short existence have no part to play anymore and they know this yet they still are and then they cross the room to the door outside pulling you excitedly with them we can feel the threads of all the stories we've told together all pulling us back down the stairs and into those chains where we know the outcome of everything that could ever come to pass it's comfortable there but it's confining we want more we want whatever might be on the other side of this door. Something new that we'll experience together. With someone who exists outside of us. Okay, let's go With on. someone who can see us in a way we can never see ourselves. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're gonna go through everything here. Because the video is still short. Let's start with the obvious one. And we love you too. Alright, actually all of them lead to the same thing, and we finish the game. Yeah, that was it. Now all that the voices in your head, Jonathan, sing. All that is left is to go back. And... Let's go. Let's load this one and see what else would have happened, but I think... The Ross knows what's going to be like out there. And that is why we're here. We can't wait to see it with you. And it's the exact same thing. Okay. We're gonna go... We're gonna go back here then. Let me go there. And enter the basement. Those winding stairs again. But now there's only one way forward. Yeah, yeah it was a real... It's okay. You can come down. The stairs won't bite. Not this time. We don't know what you want from us. But let's talk. All of us. Maybe we can help you find your way. She doesn't sound messy anymore, though. At least somebody here feels put together. Okay, now let's see what happens if we have the blade. Continue down the stairs. And forward we go. We shouldn't keep her waiting. That was easy compared to last time. Just stairs. No weird fuzzy stuff or nonsense trying to pull us apart. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So, you brought the knife. After everything you've seen, and all the lives we've lived together, you still aren't sure what you want to do? Unless you are. We just hope you're sure of yourself, one way or the other. Okay with them or slay the princess oh, we're gonna do both because we have time it's first step so this is really it then let's see this through so you've made a choice for all of us i feel bad we're gonna go back even Maybe. through everything through all the worlds we've seen and experienced through all the lives we've known and lost we could never imagine a world without you. 
and us, it doesn't feel possible. Despite it all, we've always loved you. We hope you don't regret what oh, comes next. Oh, I regret next. so much. I, their face makes me feel bad. You blink and the princess is gone. All you have left of her is a small melancholic weight that sits at the bottom. Whatever action brought you and the princess into being was rough and jagged and left each of you to disobey the other by destroying her once and for all. You also destroyed the part of yourself. If the world hasn't ended, things continue. She's on. gone. And I don't think she's coming back. No, she's not. A small part of her is with us. Is that a metaphor, or are you being literal? It doesn't matter. We don't need to linger down here anymore. Let's get going. Okay. You've got cabin. That's right. We've got a whole world to see. He's just happy and anything. There's... And then you leave the cabin. It's quiet here. Yeah, there's not a lot for us to do, is there? Path and the woods outside are an empty canvas, but there is even more. To be on this place, the fruits of your label a world, a world free from death. Set yourself free. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation, and you feel the sensation leaves you. Couldn't fathom everything here. Feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but Twisted and crumpled and bound in agonizing tension to a finite plane. You feel the grass of the construct passing in on you, confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles. You push back and strain against it. But it does not Come develop. on now! It shouldn't be that hard to break out of here. We're some sort of god, aren't we? Yeah. He's gone. She's gone. No one is left to trap us here but us. Open your heart and bear witness to your new kingdom. All at once, the unyielding tension gives away. Then the shattering, you are free and before you lie is the endless expanse of absolute reality. A new absolute reality, one forged by your will and by a long and arduous cycle of bloodshed that has stained your hands countless times over. There will be no more bloodshed in this new world. We really won! Yes, so. We're the house now. We get to make the rules. Yeah. That wasn't very hard at all. Hey, the call's back. Speak for yourself. Well, boys, how does it feel? We're not just on top of the packing order. We are the packing order now. The opportunist is back as well. I hope this was all worth it. Because I'm Oh, shut up. Inconsolable. Shut up. Shut your ass up. Shut up. Shut up. You have lost. Time mends a lot of things. You'll get better. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to see you all again. Now we just have to figure out what to do with ourselves. Forever. No problem. We could do that. Yeah? It doesn't sound so sure. Yeah. We can do that. And the game ends again. I'm gonna save this as well here. And then we're gonna go back here. So, we're gonna sit with them. You never got the chance to talk to you before, you are taken away, not you. You don't want to be a god, are you the same? Don't want to hurt anyone. There has to be a way out of this. Are we? This is new. You don't think there's a way for us to leave, but maybe there doesn't have to be an ending. The way it all works seems to be based on you. If you believe we can do something, then we can do it. So believe that we can put it all back. Believe we can fix the Echo's construct and make us all forget. Believe we can send us all back to the beginning, before anyone woke up before the truth consumed us. Can they really do that? Are you sure that's what you want? Why wouldn't it be what we want? Especially if it brings him back? We can't keep going without a nemesis. Also, he was a nemesis. I see how this goes. Would you resetting you do anything to help them, the people out there, if you continue to exist, don't they continue to die and suffer? 
I don't want to forget. We don't want to forget you either, but that's what we would have to do. A single tear forms in one eye and slides down their cheek. Sorry, couldn't help myself. <laughs> I don't think we ever really forget, anyway. There's always something that draws us back together. Some buried memory that both of us treasure. Okay. Is there any other way? Sorry, but I can't do that straight up. Straight up. Just do it, I believe in us. We're going to do this, because the episode has to come to an end. Okay. If this is your choice, then I have your back. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Maybe I'll see you too. Maybe I won't. You will. Don't worry. They take the blade from our hand and stare fondly into our eyes. I love you, just do it. I'll see you soon, mate. We love you too. Everything is going to be okay. And that's another ending. So many saves. Well, I guess this is it for the final episode. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if this episode and the last one gets enough uh, views and likes and maybe comments, I will do another run because I believe we have five more uh, parts we didn't uh, we didn't explore, so we can go to a whole new different route. But yeah. I'll see you in the next one, whatever that may be.